Greetings people and Happy Thanksgiving! I'm gonna do my first gadget review today. I recently got my first smartphone, the Samsung GTI 5700, also known as the Galaxy Spica, Spica, whatever, or the Galaxy Lite. Okay, so these days pretty much everybody knows the advantages of having a smartphone. So let me concentrate on all the downsides of this particular model. First of all, only 3.2 megapixel camera with no flash. I didn't care that much about the built-in camera in the phone because I can always use my regular camera which is the Panasonic Lumix. But still, in this day and age, a 3.2 megapixel camera with no flash in a smartphone is kind of embarrassing. Alright, so second major downside about this phone is the fact that the navigation software kills your battery. I'll be honest with you, it only makes sense to use navigation software if you're using it in your car and you have it connected to your car's charger. I live in a major city so I'm walking a lot and when I do it, I love to listen to music, be connected to the internet, update my profiles and when you use all that stuff and combine it with using 3G, it kills your battery. Alright, so I do want to clarify that I've only been using the Google Maps navigation beta on this phone. Perhaps with other navigation software, it will actually run a little bit longer. Now the major thing. This phone comes with only 180 megabytes built-in memory. Now, you can use a 32 gigabyte SD card in the phone. However, because it only comes with a 1.5 cupcake or the 2.1 Eclair Android operating system, you can only install apps on the phone's memory itself. 180 megabytes, that's really not enough room for all those awesome apps on the Android market. Now, if you are a tech geek, you can always root your phone and install a higher version of the Android operating system like the 2.2 or the 2.3. However, most of us would be scared of voiding the warranty or even worse, breaking our phone. Even with all those downsides, the phone is really cool and you can pick it up for fairly cheaply pretty much anywhere in the world where you live. I named mine Lieutenant Commander Data and my fiance really hates it for some mysterious reason. Huh? What? Huh? Have you seen that awesome new show on HBO called The Game of Thrones? If you haven't and you like fantasy literature, I recommend picking up the book first. You can get it on Amazon for less than $10 and if you've never been one of those the book was so much better than the movie. Kicks before, this is your chance. I've heard on the morning stream with Brian Abbott and Scott Johnson that the show is a lot more enjoyable if you've read the book before. So this is my book recommendation for the week. Speaking of books, I'm currently reading on my phone Star Trek, Mud in Your Eye, a Star Trek novel by Jerry Altian. I really like that space scoundrel Harry Mudd and I can tell you that so far the book is really funny and really worth reading and picking up. On the video game front I am currently playing Fable 2 on my Xbox 360. You can expect a full review of this game on my website at yourgamesucks.blogspot.com. What I can tell you about it so far is that I've played the original Fable on the original Xbox and so far Fable 2 is not only a worthy successor, but a far superior game, period. Last thing I wanted to mention in this episode is the news that David Yates, who most geeks would know as the director of the final four Harry Potter movies, was announced as the director of the new Doctor Who movie. I've read many rumors about this movie so far. The two major rumors I can tell you about are that Johnny Depp is going to play Doctor Who, and the second one is that the movie is going to be unrelated to the actual Doctor Who series. First of all, Johnny Depp? Really? An American doctor? Is Matt Smith really that busy? You couldn't bring back David Tennant for one last adventure? Which brings me to the reboot rumors. Don't. Just don't. We already have a Doctor Who series. It's damn great and it's currently running. Just cause the new Star Trek movie made a lot of money doesn't mean that all reboots will immediately make a lot of income. Alright, I'm fine now. Alright my geeks and nerds, that's it for this episode. Please remember to subscribe and to like this video if you want me to make many many more and remember to visit my website 
at yourgamesucks.blogspot.com. There's tons of geeky goodness on the website and I'm sure you will love it. Alright my friends, don't eat too much turkey and until next time, live long and prosper. Thank you.